Good morning, guys. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, you see her walking down the boulevard. She got the posture of a superstar. She looks so fly in those Gucci slides. Yeah, yeah, I wonder what she hides under her disguise. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all the girls around the world, they wanna be her. And all the dudes are trying to score like it's fever. She lives a double life, puts on a show. What's under the subtle smile, we'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about the features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about the features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me paint a picture. I see they don't understand. Feeling like Picasso. She brushing against my hands. Seen you from around the way. You didn't give me the time of day. You be making moves at you. Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day. It's Jess. So today, well, today's already started as you've seen. I've done quite a lot already this morning, except for talk to you guys. Uh, because basically, um, Today's a bit of an odd day, which is why I'm vlogging. Sorry, the aircon's gonna be really loud, but it's so hot today that I am not gonna turn it down. I have to get attached to a 24 hour halter monitor today for my heart. It's basically like a ECG that you take with you for 24 hours. Um, because as you guys know, I've been struggling a lot recently with like dizzy spells and really bad hot flushes. And my doctor just wants to like rule anything major out. And one of those major things is like issues like heart palpitations or anything like that. So today I have to go and get that attached to me for the next 24 hours. So this morning I have to like shower and do everything because I can't obviously shower with it attached to me for the next 24 hours. So I had to like shower and do my hair and everything because I'm actually going out for dinner tonight. So I sort of had to like pre-plan me getting ready for that so we're going to try and not get too sweaty today but i don't know how it's going to go it's really hot anyway sorry i'm just checking like where i'm going because i think i know where i'm going but like also i actually don't think i know where i'm going anyway so welcome back well, we're just gonna like go on a journey today of like me getting this put on where are we going <laughs> Oh, easy. But yeah, so anyway, welcome back. Let's get the day started. My hair's pink, guys. I did darker on the pink this time. Basically, just in the front. Um, it sort of washed out when I washed my hair this morning, but I put a little bit more in. Uh, but it's pretty much just like my money pieces that are really bright pink, and the rest is sort of like rose gold. We're having a bit of fun with our hair. You know what I mean? Anyway, um, I'm going to go and drive now because guess who forgot their car tripod again? Me. For some reason, I keep taking my car tripod out of my car. It doesn't make sense. I know, but I keep doing that. Anyway, I'm going to listen to Taylor Swift and I'll see you once I ha I'm all hooked up. Let's go. We're masked up. Ready for We're back. You can see it here. It's like all... Oh my gosh, there's a bad light. I'm going to pop you guys down there. Um, I'm going to stay there. It's all stuck on. Um, super irritating <laughs> already, but basically I have this little lanyard around my neck and then these cords are all connected to like, um, things around me here. So yeah, I might change into one of my high neck tops today just because, like just to cover that. So, and I have been given like a diary thing and every time I get like a symptom, if I get any symptoms, I have to click the button on this little remote and then write down what my symptom was. I don't really want it 
my home now and I've just gotten changed guys and I think I've totally hacked this thing on getting to hide this because I'm going to the shops with my mom because she used to go to the optometrist and then I'm going to the dietitian later today but I think I've totally hacked hiding it you wouldn't even know I've got it on I've got one of these cotton on sets on um and yeah it all covers nicely and then like I've just tucked the um the thing here which does look a little bit funny but like when I like tuck this in it sort of like hides it and just sort of looks like the shirt is like pillowing. I don't know. No, actually that looks weird. Today's sort of been crazy to be honest. Sort of had to like rush to my dietitian appointment because my mum's optometrist appointment took longer than expected. Um, but that's right, we made it all on time and I just got home from the dietitian. Anyway, as you guys saw, at about 11 ish, um, I had some fruit toast and a coffee, um, which was sort of like scary for me because I wanted something savory, but then the things at the cafe were like really scaring me that was savory and like I know I should have challenged myself. But I didn't and then I just felt really rushed and I just like chose the fruit toast which like I was really like I really had that mindset of like oh no I'm wasting my calories like I don't even want this I'm gonna eat it anyway it turned out to be like I thought it was gonna be like really gross fruit toast but it wasn't it was really nice and I ate it all so that was good where can I pop you guys anyway it is now 3 30 and I've still got my little friend here all attached to me and it actually hasn't been too bad. It's been like a little bit like annoying when I was shopping and like I was looking at clothes. I must have bent and something must have lifted like this one. And um, it made a beeping noise, but it's really loud. But I don't think really other people can hear it that much. So that's good. I've just made myself a snack slash lunch because fruit toast isn't enough for lunch. And I've got more toast because eating bread more than once a day isn't a big deal and that's something that I've learned through recovery so we're having two pieces of white bread you guys white bread I know a bit scary um with half an avocado because I only had half and some pepper and lemon so super simple but super delicious I've got to start getting ready in about an hour to go out for dinner with my friend tonight so I'm just going to sit here and watch some new girl and eat my avocado toast so enjoy it Hey guys, so it's a little bit later now, it's just about 4 o'clock and I'm just starting to get ready to go out um, for dinner tonight. So just an I'd guy, I'd guy, what? I would catch you guys up on like my appointment day with the dietitian and everything while I start to get ready. Not that I'm going like super dressed up or anything, but I am just going to put on a bit of makeup. I think maybe do like an eye look or something. I'm really into eyeshadow at the moment, even though like I'm quite bad at it. My dietitian appointment, so I had a psychologist appointment yesterday and that was more just because I'm starting a new structured approach to like CBTE therapy, which is a cognitive behavioral therapy. What's the E stand for? Extended or it's the version of CBT therapy that's been made for eating disorder recovery. And I've been semi doing it, but um, due to just like um, sort of having a psychologist, I wasn't seen very much and sort of being a bit higgledy piggledy last year, which sort of was a bit unavoidable with um, COVID and everything. Um, I haven't really been able to properly commit to a, um, a, a like recovery 
structure I guess you could say um yeah so basically I'm now doing like my psychology and my um, dietitian appointments in the same clinic so like they can talk to each other and sort of um progress my plan and stick to the CBTE formula together and I know exactly where each other's at so I'm sort of starting a little bit from day dot with everything but obviously like um, my dietitian knows where I'm at so I don't have as many appointments with my dietitian as I do with the psychologist um, because definitely a lot of the dietetic side of things has gotten a lot better but I think the psychological things is really where I'm lacking at the moment just purely for not having a very good connection with my psychologist and sort of find it hard to see him last year I had to do a lot of my psychology appointments over telehealth and I really hated that I just never felt I got a very good connection with my psychologist and he was really lovely but um, sometimes I feel like I just prefer like a female practitioner um, and yeah I met my new psychologist for the first time yesterday and she was really lovely and um, explained everything really well so I think we're going to get along quite well um, but yeah so saw her yesterday and she basically just like ran me through CBTE and how we're going to approach it from a psychological point of view and then today I saw my dietitian again who I've been seeing since like April last year and she just basically ran through the new structure and how we'll be approaching things now but she said look I know you've already done a lot of the work so we're sort of doing like a fast-tracked version of the dietetic side of things because she's like we've already sort of run you through it but obviously working alongside um my psychologist she'll be able to link stuff in more so today we just sort of chatted about that stuff how it all works from a dietetics point of view and then um sort of discussed like where i'm at and everything and she was really impressed with a lot of the things that i've done especially since like sort of having christmas break and everything and a lot of that for me is like really reincorporating dairy into my diet like i eat cheese butter i've become sort of like less involved in the food cooking in my family when that when it comes to um like dinner time like i'll eat a better variety of things and just everything like that so she was really impressed with that she's more just like conscious of the fact that she, there are areas that i still am restricting in and like even i knew that to be honest with you guys like um like i definitely know i still have my safe choices when i go out especially when it comes to like sweet things if i'm at a cafe or something and just the little things like that that i think some people think you're recovered um even though you're still dealing with those and they're those the sort of things that keep you in the disorder so we're really going to try to hammer out those over the next couple of months um and then she wants me to like eventually sort of try milk but i actually legitimately hate the taste of milk so she's like if that's like the only thing left behind and you're like fully recovered and that's the only thing we can't get past then we've like sort of learnt that like it's just a dislike thing she's like i can live with that um she doesn't love how i have almond milk a lot but i was telling her how like i have made progress even with almond milk and like have chosen the um high calorie almond milk now and like buy the sweetened versions because that look at that that is horrendous that's what i like more now and everything like that so it's all little changes that lead to you know that kill the disorder and get it out of the way of my life so yeah that's the update there the appointment really quick i was about five minutes late whoopsie but um yeah we just sort of like chatted about that and just sort of touched base after not having seen each other for a while um but yeah so i'm now going to go weekly so i go today was a bit different because today is a wednesday but generally i am going to her on a monday psychologist on a wednesday and then my doctor will be on Mondays when I see her. And then I have my group therapy on Thursdays. So it's like a little bit crazy at the moment. But I'm feeling like this is what I really need. Like deep down I know like this is what I really need to sort of kick the disorder. Is like just like some really intense final moments of therapy I guess you could say. So it's going to be intense and I know I'm going to get like super tired, but um, I think it's like the right thing to do. Like I don't really know what else to do. So I definitely think this is the right call. Update with this little heart monitor that I've got on though is like, it's sort of all right. Like it's been like a little bit annoying as I was saying before, but like I've only had to sort of like press it once, like when you have a heart rise um, and we're also like rushing out of the shops before and I sort of just felt like a little bit like, 
puffed and like lightheaded but it's really hard for me because like obviously I'm conscious I'm being tracked I'm like am I getting lightheaded or like dizzy from like am I telling myself I am or am I actually whereas like everyday life obviously I'm not thinking about it so when I get dizzy and everything I know that I'm just getting dizzy. I don't really have much to record. I've sort of had like little dizzy spells today, but I haven't recorded them because I'm sort of like, I don't really know, like this is confusing. So look, I'll get off tomorrow. I'll see what the results are. If my, my theory is like, if my rhythm is like weird, then like it's gonna show whether I record the moment or not, like it's still gonna read on the thing. So yeah, anyway. Who knows? I have to leave it on overnight, so it'll be interesting if I get a hot flush overnight because that would be interesting to see if they're correlated. Um, but obviously, I won't be able to press the button when I get them unless I wake up. But um, yeah, sort of a wild thing to go through. Anyway, I've put my outfit together for tonight. Oh, and also the tape is really itchy. <laughs> Keep itching the tape. Um, put my outfit together tonight. I'm just going to like leave this same top on and just put on some cute pants. Um, so I can like tuck this little box in that's hanging on the lanyard. Anyway guys, that's the update there. I'm actually looking forward to going out. It's We're going to an Italian restaurant, so like sort of scary because like Italian is probably one of the scariest cuisines for me. But you know what, like whatevs. I let my friend choose for a reason. So we try new things. She's super excited to go. So I'm gonna join in, just like order what I feel like. Pizza's really scary for me, but like a ham and pineapple pizza is generally what I'd order. Uh, but maybe, I don't know, we'll see what's there when I get there. Anyway, I'm gonna continue getting ready now and watch some more New Girl. And I'll set you guys up and you can watch me get ready. dressed and ready now this is the finished look and you cannot see it there so let me show you in this mirror so I just have the same top on because I was able to easily like tuck in my um, heart monitor thing but yes that's the fit that's the <laughs> tuck that into my bra and it sort of looks ridiculous but it's gonna have to do anyway it is currently 10 to 5 so I'm gonna actually get going now because where we're going is like a little bit far from me like not crazy far but just like could get some peak hour traffic um sorry I'm just putting my rings on that's why you guys are sort of really unsteady at the moment so yeah let's head to dinner guys I'm about to get going oops but I had to show these sunnies that I got the other day. They're really dirty at the moment. I need to clean them. But they're Le Specs by was Adam Sherman. Selman. Adam Selman collection. And I got them. Sophie and I went skating the other day. And afterwards we went to like this vintage market. And these were new. Price tag still on. $120. The girl at the market was selling them for $20. And I'm like, what? How cool are they? I'm obsessed with them. And that's literally all I want to share with you guys. I need to go. <laughs> Good morning. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Oh, my God. Okay. Well, wow, that's great. Hello. Good morning. It's the next day. And I am exhausted. Terrible night's sleep with this little thing of a jiggy. Every time I rolled, it would beep, and I had to move it, and I, ugh, you guys. Anyway, as a result of that, I have said no, not going to recovery college today, just going to have like a chill day at home, I think, just edit some videos and do that sort of stuff. I'm just feeling like way too tired. I'm just about to leave to go get this thing taken off. This stuff from the day. We already had breakfast. I had my normal breakfast, so I'm like, oh, do you guys really want to see my normal breakfast? Like, we all know the drill. It's cereal, it's yogurt, it's banana, it's a coffee on almond milk. But today we had vanilla almond milk. And I'm very 
very delicious. I think I might have a new favorite. So we'll definitely be having another coffee when we get home, obviously. Um, but first we do have to go and get this thing ripped off our chest, which I was actually thinking it's gonna hurt because like, you have hairs in your chest, like even though like you can't see them, like you have little hairs everywhere. So like, is that gonna really hurt? I don't know, but I'm just excited to be cord free and not have a thing beeping at me every time I move a muscle. Um, anyway, that's that. Guys, I'm free. Hold on, my mask is still on. I'm free. It's all gone. Um, super easy, much easier like the takeoff process than the application process. Um, and basically it's just a couple of days till I get the results, but I'm not seeing my doctor for another week. So I'm seeing her next Thursday and today is Thursday. So, um, I'm sure like when she gets if everything, if anything is really bad, she'll get me to come in earlier, but. I don't really think it will be. Anyway, it feels very nice now. <laughs> um, it was like a little waxing session, actually, them getting peeled off. But um, the lady said to me, she's like, this is actually the best they've ever come back in. Like, and I'm like, oh my God, what do people do with them? Like, people must just really like be really careless with them and sort of like rip them up a bit. Um, but I was happy that she was happy with how it all went. And she was the sweetest lady. She was the same lady who put it on yesterday. Um, and she was literally so sweet and very nice and she kept apologizing for ripping them off but it wasn't it wasn't too painful it's just saying when men get them done it can be quite painful for them because of the hair on their chest grows really quickly anyway that's that and I'm thrilled to have it off now I feel like I could just go and achieve anything um, just also having something around your neck for like 24 hours straight is really irritating Anyway, enough of my whinging. Grateful that it's done now. Grateful that I'm able to access that and get the results. And like, I did have a few dizzy spells and everything I had to record. Um, I didn't get any hot flushes last night, which I don't get them every night. Um, but I'm like, of course, the night that I have this thing on, I don't get one when I've been getting them quite regularly over the past week or two. Um, but what can you do if, um, you know, if, if there's if there's an issue, it's not going to just pop up one night and not the next. So, yeah, anyway, um, I'm heading back home now. And I am going to have another coffee because I was too, like, sitting in the chair. Like, she was just doing my paperwork before she took it all off because we just had to wait a couple minutes to sort of try to, like, round it out as close to, the, to the, like, the full 24 hours. And um, I was, like, just sitting there and I was just so tired. I was like, you know, when you're, like just really tired and sort of feeling quite relaxed and you just sort of like just felt heavy feeling that was me i was just sitting in that chair like oh my god i could so easily fall asleep in this like chair right now okay hey guys home now i'm just taking on the coffee machine empty the drip tray okay <laughs> what the heck hold on guys i need to figure out how to fix this coffee machine Oh, would you look at that? Oh my god, I'm literally a genius. Change the drip tray. Okay, hi, hello. This angle's a little bit better, I think, right? It's probably a little bit high, actually. Let's bring you down, like, to there. To there vibes? Okay, let me just start filling up my espresso shot. So we do two espresso shots in case you guys were wondering. And I'll show you guys the milk that I need down a bit. Okay, show you guys the milk that I bought last night. One. So this is the un. Sorry, the uh, the original version of this is my one of my favourite like um supermarket coffee almond milks but I got this one yesterday vanilla and it's yummy yummy okay let's fill this up with some ice ice I don't know how many times I've showed you guys my coffee making but you're welcome did you notice I've been lost saying no to the break of dying hoping that you'll show a little warmth but you know I feel the coldest I don't know if I'd want this vanilla milk for every coffee because as you guys know, sweeter coffee isn't where I'm at. I do generally like quite, um, just like 
just like I want to say bland coffee, but it's not that it's that. It's just that I don't like particularly sweet things, drink coffee drinks. <laughs> Bo just licked my coffee cup. Oh my god. Dog, you are strange. Strange doggy. Anyway. Coffee chat times, guys. So, I didn't vlog anymore last night when I went out to dinner with Zali. Because I just had like a really lo a long time. A really good time. We're out for a long time as well. Um, but honestly, I just forgot. We were just chatting about anything and everything. I've known Zali for... It'll be 11 years this year. Because last year, it was like 10 years that we'd known each other. So this year will be... Uh, we met in grade... Seven? Grade seven? Grade six? No, grade seven. I'm pretty sure. Anyway, and what I love about Zali is like from like who we were when we met, obviously till now, like we've changed so much as like people. Um, and I think that's sort of obvious, but also like just we've like gone through evolutions and like Zali and I didn't do all of our schooling together. Like Zali did leave and move schools a couple times. So we did sort of upkeep our friendship outside of school. Um, and I feel like we really developed as people, but we still remain friends. And I think that's like a really good reflection of like what true friendship is. Like I, as I've sort of evolved as a person, I have also lost a lot of friends and that's fine. That's just like the cycle of friendships and relationships and everything. But, like, my relationship with Zali has always remained really strong. Um, because although we are, like, different, we do sort of have that, like, I think we're, like, connected and have that sort of, like, kindred spirit and everything like that. But I'm always really, like, inspired. Bo, what are you doing? I was really inspired by Zali. Always as a friend. I've always been expi expired, <laughs> inspired by her. But especially over the past few years because she's really found herself and, like, isn't afraid to like express who she is and she's just such like an empowered woman in my life that honestly like her energy last night like I was just asking her like I was asking her questions like so like when you have a bad body image day or like a bad mood day like how do you still feel empowered and how do you just like know that you are that bitch like you know what I mean and and she just exudes that energy like she knows who she is like she's unapologetic for who she is as you should be and sort of like, I guess the circles that she is in, she is like quite different with like her style and everything. And, and I really admire that about her because I feel like having explored my style a bit more over the last six months or so, I'm finding that like, I'm not the style that I thought I was. Um, and it, it's nice to see someone completely explore their style and express their self and um, sort of see someone living out the life that you want to live when it comes to like empowerment and um yeah, she's just such, like, an inspiring person to talk to. And I think, like, she just, like, literally just, like, lives for herself. Like, just, like, you know, empowers herself every day. Um, you know, lives her best life for herself. But is also, like, a really, like, true friend. And, yeah, I just think it's so important to have those sort of people in your life. And, obviously, like, I know Zali so well. We've been friends for a really, really long time in adulthood like our relationship yeah like she really like inspires me as a person and i was just asking her so many questions last night about like her life and how she deals with stuff like that um and she said something that really stuck with me last night i'm like you know what if you're having a really anxious day or like you know those bad body image days and she's like you know like sometimes i'll have a sulk like sometimes that's just the truth but she's like also like like I'll remind myself that this isn't me telling me this stuff. She's like, it's my anxiety. It's, you know, something else telling me that I feel bad about myself or something else triggering me to think this way. She's like, I just remind myself that that isn't me. That's not actually me as like myself. It's something else in my head or like a exterior situations influence something in my head to think this way. And I was like, wow, that is so true. Like, I feel like, and we were speaking about how, like, when you suffer from, like, anxiety, depression, and uh, eating disorders and everything like that, they become very intertwined in your um, personality, and it's really hard sometimes to separate yourself from not being the person with depression, the person with anxiety, the person with anorexia, whatever. And I think sometimes it's it's really hard to find your, your like your individualism from that um and that's something zali's really worked on as well and i think it's really empowering to see her 
like she still suffers with stuff like anxiety but like she lives her life not letting anxiety control it and that doesn't mean she still doesn't suffer from anxiety but she's just is able to separate herself from that i think that was something that i really needed to hear because like i feel like last year i really was like a person recovering from anorexia um and i still am obviously um but i feel like i'm really trying to find myself now and be more like a person finding herself who the true jessica is who is also just happens to be recovering from anorexia, dealing with anxiety, dealing with depression, OCD, and all that stuff like that. Like it's secondary to your personality. It's not your personality. You are not your mental illness. Um, it's just like when you're sick, like if you have the flu or something, you don't become the flu. You're not like, oh my God, you are flu. Like you're a person recovering from the flu, if that makes sense at all. I feel like mental illnesses and physical illnesses, like, there's just such a stigma around mental illness and how it's like your fault and like you're the person who has to deal with it and like you are this like person with anxiety and you can't do it and everything like that and i just and like i've always known that's not true but hearing someone so close to me who i know is just living her best life say that you know it's like when you just hear it from the right person sometimes it really sets in so i hope zali's advice that i've shared with you all helps some of you out there or just helps you to realize that like be empowered, live your own life. Like honestly, like just like seeing Zali live her best life. I'm like, I just want to suck up the energy that you have and just like exude that in my own life. Like just be me, like live my life for me and like just be like a good friend, a good person, but also like know who the hell I am. Um, and don't let anybody make you ever question who you are. Yeah, anyway, yeah, it's 10, 10 now. And I'm just going to chill out today, honestly. I think I'm going to need to put on some new girl. I've been watching new girl again, guys. I'm obsessed. Okay. So, um, those was nice. Yeah, it was. Mm hmm You want to know what I want to do now? <laughs> Someone playing a joke on me? Honestly, why is my towel still damp? Because it's not your towel. Stare at the rain on my window. I feel the tears coming soon. You're lying next to me. And I guess I've been lying too We had a fire that became smoke But we didn't until we both choked Thought that love could be enough For the both